Good evening and welcome to Wednesday's edition of the Regional News. Jamaican Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced on Tuesday that his government will send an initial deployment of 24 military and police personnel to Haiti to support an international security mission aimed at helping to fight powerful gangs. Holness said the initial group will deploy to Haiti on Wednesday and help lay out a command structure to prepare for the deployments. In March, Jamaican formally pledged 200 personnel from the UN-backed mission, but a long-delayed security force has been slow to deploy and its initial mandate will expire in under a month if it's not renewed. The mission is being led by Kenya, which is so far the only country to have deployed to Haiti with 400 police officers out of a total pledge of 1,000. Alongside Kenya's support for the mission, Jamaica, the Bahamas, and Belize have also promised to send at least 2,900 troops. Several other countries have made unspecified pledges of personnel for the security push in Haiti, a crisis-wracked Caribbean island nation of more than 11 million. Venezuelan presidential candidate Edmundo Gonzalez will remain, quote unquote, a very clear voice, pushing for change in his country despite fleeing to seek asylum in Spain. Gonzalez, who say he won the July 20th presidential election, could also still return to take office on January 10. They said, although with incumbent President Nicolas Maduro claiming he won the vote and shrugging off international criticism. The opposition's path to power look increasingly slim. Venezuelan exiles gathered outside the Spanish parliament on Tuesday as Spanish lawmakers debate a symbolic motion from the main opposition party to recognize Gonzalez as winner of the election. The motion is expected to be approved today. Venezuela's opposition say the July election resulted in a resounding victory for 75-year-old Gonzalez and have published vote tallies online. They say show he won. Maduro has dismissed all such assertions and says that they were a right-wing plot to sabotage his government. Brazilian police carried out a wide operation against illegal mining in the Amazon, raiding a criminal organization that financed the production and sale of 3.1 tons of gold, whose origin was hidden with fraudulent papers. Federal police said in a statement that the majority of the arrests and two dozen search and seizure warrants served were in the south of Paris State, where illegal gold mining a surge in the recent years in the rainforest, much of that unprotected indigenous reservation land. Much of the gold was refined in South Jose, a city in the north of Sao Paulo state that has a thriving jewelry industry and where illegal gold is melted down into metal bar with legal gold, making it hard to trace the illegal metal. A federal judge ordered the confiscation and freezing of $2.9 billion in cash and assets, including vehicles, motorcycles, jewelry, and gold nuggets, the police said. Four companies were suspended, six mining licenses and four gun possession permits were revoked, and four local government officials were ordered removed from office, the police said. The statement added that indigenous people were found to be involved in the criminal organization. Thank you for watching. I am Tiana Cole.